Hello everyone, welcome to this lesson on introduction to computer networking. Now let's get started. So maybe you already have an idea of what a computer network is and I'm sure you have one at home, at school. I don't want to bore you, but I would like to give you a tax. Think of what a network is around you. Just say for like some seconds and you do that. Yes. You have one in your house where you have your TVs connected to all other TVs in your rooms. That is an example of a network. But in this case, we'll be looking at computer networking. In this video, we will start with what a computer network actually is. We will talk about the components of a computer network. We'll discuss the types of networking, network devices, and the benefits of networking. What is a computer network? This is a set of computers connected together for the purpose of sharing resources. Now, when they are all connected together, they are able to share data and they are also able to share internet connection. But the most common thing people share today is the internet. So networking makes life very easy. Imagine you have internet on your phones and your laptops and you can share that same internet with someone else, your friends, two or three of your friends. That's basically what networking is about. It's pretty easy. This can be done wirelessly. It can be done with wires as well. Let's discuss the components of a computer network. We have message, we have sender, we have receiver, we have protocol. Every network must have these four elements to function. Message is the data or information that needs to be transferred. So message could be an email, it could be a chat, it could be anything. Sender is the device that has the data and needs to send the data to other devices. So sender could be your laptop, it could be your phone. Receiver is the device which is expecting the data from another device on the network. So the receiver is the recipient's device that you are sending the message to. And then protocol is a set of rules that are agreed by both sender and receiver. Now remember, without a protocol, two devices cannot connect to each other. They cannot communicate. They cannot talk to each other. So this is a very important thing to note. The types of computer networks. So the first thing we'll be discussing is WAN, which is short form for Wide Area Network. So this is a computer network that spans over a large geographical area, such as a state, region, country. So this could be a network between Nigeria and Italy, Nigeria and America, Nigeria and Australia. That is what a wide area network is. The second one we'll be looking at is LAN, which is the local area network. The local area network connects computers in local areas, such as printers, and this can be found in offices. Sometimes LAN can also be wireless, and in this case, it is called WLAN, which is Wireless Local Area Network. The next one is PAN, Personal Area Network. This is also the same as the LAN network, but is limited to a specific person or location, such as your home network. So when I'm trying to explain this, what I'm saying is PAN, that's per personal area network, is just restricted to your homes. Most times it's a home network. You really cannot use it outside your home. MAN is metropolitan area network. This connects two or more land networks within the same city. So imagine you have a head office in one city and a factory in another city. So what the metropolitan area network does is that it connects two different cities with the same network. Let's talk about network devices. We have switch, we have routers, we have gateway, we have access points. We have all other network devices as well, but let's look at this four. The switch is a multi-port bridge with a buffer and a design that can boost its efficiency. So basically with the switch, we connect other computers so that we can all be connected to the internet. A router is a device that acts like a switch, but routes packets based on different IP addresses. The gateway is the name that suggests where the packets will pass. And an access point is a device that creates a local area network. Remember, I said LAN can be wireless. And in that case, it's called WLAN. So what an access point does is that 
it creates a wireless local area network usually it's used in offices or large buildings. benefits of networking it enhances communication it makes life very easy and convenient when everything is connected and networked together data can be easily transferred internet can be easily shared it makes file sharing easier it is highly flexible it is inexpensive depending on what you want it is cost efficient and it boosts storage capacity now we do a recap of everything we learned we defined computer networks we talked about the components of a computer network we stated four things that that a computer network is composed of we talked about types of networking we mentioned the network devices and lastly, we also talked about the benefits of networking. Thank you for listening to the first part of this lesson. I'll see you in the next video for part two.